So, why haven't you told your crush how you feel? Because I'm scared. You can't exactly talk to fictional characters. That's an interesting statement asterisk Mr. Clean. Asterisk, because my wife would get angry. I do not want to risk ruining our friendship. We have been friends my whole life and it would just be awful to throw that all out the window. Edit. She said yes. I'm a romantic. And yeah, it is a little weird when someone has a crush on you. But honestly I don't mind it if they're respectful about it and not a creep. For example, these are the things that annoy and creep me out to the point that I want to avoid that person. Constant flirting even after being rejected. Asking for pics that I don't want to send. Sending pics I don't want to see. And just overall being a creep. However, I had another friend who had a crush on me. I was very close with her. I really liked that she respected my sexuality and never brought it up again. Rarely flirted and when she did it was obviously for comedic purposes. Never made me feel uncomfortable or pressured. So if you do it right, then yeah even if you get rejected then you can remain friends. Hope this helped, because she is way too good for me and I think she likes someone else. Why do you think she's way too good for you? Because she's just a really good person and mentally in a very good place and I am not. LMAO I relate to all of this. Okay, I know this will sound cheesy ASF. But go for it, let's take the worst scenario. She rejects you and laughs you off well. Great, now you know she's a shitty human being and just forget her. Won't be easy at first. But then it will all come to you. Like a sudden blessing of wisdom monsieur and it will happen much faster than you expect. Trust me here. If she rejects politely without sharing it to anyone. Well, either keep trying or just leave. Knowing that you didn't waste your chance to try. That is very important. Right now you feel like you've got a lot of time. Like, hey, maybe I can ask her out another day? When I'll feel more confident. Or maybe I should hit the gym or change my haircut. Nope, not gonna happen. Every day, slowly, but steadily, time runs out. You only have so much years in school, college. After that you're basically done. Left with only regret and what if thoughts. Rejection hurts for a couple of days. Regret because you didn't try haunts until you find someone else to hang on to. No humiliation will ever come close to feeling of regret. You have your chance now. Even if you think it's small. The shot is always worth it. Good luck, and sorry for my trash English. Hope you can at least understand what I tried to say there. Only issue in my case is that I work with her. So the rejection would spread throughout the hospital quickly and could ruin my entire social life. Because I don't really have many friends other than the people I work with. She has a boyfriend. I thought I had a chance until I saw her boyfriend. This guy is like 6 feet whatever perfect specimen with a chiseled jawline and rock hard abs. Asset dominance by asking the boyfriend out. This one hurts. Don't have a crush just have a crushed hard ATM. Well, the last time I asked out my crush it resulted in her never speaking to me again. The friend group we were in growing more distant from me. And a new sense of social anxiety. Not exactly a good experience. That's rough buddy. If he says his that girl became the moon I'm done. I'm awkward as fuck. Telling your crush that you like them takes some serious courage. And calculation. I have a classmate who we'll call Peter. Now, Peter on his first day in our class instantly developed a crush on the girl sitting in front of him. And after three days of being in the class he built up the courage to go tell her. Unfortunately, the odds were against him. 1. He was not good looking or average looking and looks are actually pretty important for getting in a relationship and the girl only dated the most handsome ones around. So you could tell that she had high standards. 2. He cultivated a reputation as a very bad boy over the years. Not attractive bad boy, unattractive very bad boy, he argues with teachers on a daily basis, has dozens of complaints written, has very bad grades, he is objectively not smart etc. Not exactly appealing. 3. 
She had not displayed any amount of attraction towards him during those three days. She was literally talking smack about him because he doesn't exactly leave good first impressions. 4. Seeing that the odds were against him. He could have tried to get her to like Hi Monsieur that is a very good tip for when you're romantically pursuing a girl. Make yourself seem like a likable and good boy. Get your grades up, get a haircut, and maybe help her with homework in the like when you've cultivated a reputation. Befriend her. Get closer and your odds have significantly increased. He didn't think of such strategies. He waited only three whole days. And so, he was rejected. She was actually quite nice about it yet he was absolutely devastated and enraged. He took it out on all of us and cultivated an even worse reputation as a mean boy. After that there was no hope of him getting in any relationship or friendship with anyone. Whatsoever. Don't just go to straight at it. Think first. Are the odds against you? How much so? What can you do to mitigate them? How can you make yourself more appealing? How do you get her to like you? Etc. Down votes. Here I come. Thanks for the tips. Because he told me he had of a crush on me and I rejected him. Subtly. And then ended up developing a crush on High Monsieur. He clearly stated I hurt his feelings. So I don't see how it would work. I need your thoughts. I'm no expert but I'd bring it up again to High Monsieur or maybe the guy still likes you and then hey. You hit it off. And well if it's a no. Fuck it move on. There's bound to be some awkwardness but time will get rid of that if you two want to stay as friends. It's better than keeping that ship to yourself and have it pent up. It'll drive you nuts. Have some courage and go for it. Maybe say what you just wrote. It doesn't have to be a grand gesture. Sometimes just being honest works. Because I'm dating her. So, you're dating her, but haven't even had to tell her how you feel. Damn, you're smooth. She doesn't know they're dating yet and she'll friendzone him soon enough. Too damn shy, on my end. Me too. For me it's to the point where I sometimes avoid my crush because I can't handle it lmao. Nice tried my crush on trying to get me to confess. My best friend told her, this has happened two times. Based on her response that doesn't mean you can't tell her. Yeah, maybe you should stop telling your best friend about your crushes? They shouldn't just tell them. And it sucks that they did. Yeah trust me you tell one person they all will know. He's already told me, we're better off as friends which I'm totally fine with. Same thing here. But man, it hurts when you are in love with your best friend. Because I don't got one. She knows and turns out, she's gay. Oof, why do lesbians gotta be so hot? And it gets better. When I tried to rebound to another girl, she said I was too young. She was like maybe a couple months older than me. Lol. Shri I mean, I'm sorry for your loss. Because they deserve better than me. Damn seems like you deserve someone. I have too much trauma and I'm tired of hurting people I love because of my depression no matter how much I try to work on myself but thank you. Cause he isn't gay. I think it's harder for gay people to confess that they have a crush on someone when you don't really know if he is gay or not. Well I started talking to her today. Sue, maybe because I am trying to get to know her. See if she is the right one. Good luck buddy. It'll bear an unhandleable amount of cringe. Ugh, so relatable. For me. We have been friends for 7 years and I don't think she's ever thought of me as more than a friend. So I don't want to ruin a 7 year long friendship over me confessing my feelings. In two words. I'm scared. If it helps. My best friend confessed to me. I politely told him I would rather remain as friends and we've moved on. We're still friends now. Don't make it weird or creepy. Speak to her as a friend and get straight to the point and let her know how you feel. I will try, thanks. I work with her. I don't think she feels the same way. I indirectly asked her if she wanted to hang out the other day and she kind of deflected it saying. She had other things to do. It's okay. It just kind of hurts a little bit. Because I feel grouchy right now and I don't want to use words. I'll just cook some dinner to show my affection. 
because I'm married and it's her sister. Shocked face. If you are serious, I really hope it goes away and you don't sacrifice your marriage. You guys have met girls. Nah man. She is a good friend of mine. And isn't interested in any of her friends. For her people she is friends with. Don't even exist in her world of potential dating. And she literally used me as an example for a good friend she would never date. Because we are such good friends. So yeah, I don't like telling people that I have a crush on them to get it out of my system. I don't need to hear this rejection. I just gotta deal with it. Because I don't have Sebastian Stan's number. That said, if anyone wants to help a lady out with that information I'd be more than happy to tell hi monsieur. I think she knows. Bruh, I am pretty sure my teacher knows and maybe even my crush. She knows because when I told her she told me she felt the same way. Because I didn't even know why the fuck I liked hi monsieur I started to have a feeling that he wasn't as kind-hearted as I thought. And he would use my feelings for his benefits. Yeah, we don't talk anymore. I've told almost every crush I've ever had. It's never been reciprocated. Currently I have no crush. I'm not sure if I ever will again. I've kind of mentally blocked myself away from the concept of developing feelings for another person. Because they're fictional. Get a body pillow and tell it how you feel. But no matter how 3D a body pillow is, it's never going to say, I love you, back. It's better to lay a foundation of friendship first if you come on too strong. You'll scare them away. I really really like this girl. So I'm playing the long game. Girl here. Sometimes friends develop feelings for each other. And sometimes someone with a crush who's shy will try to become someone's friend because they don't know what else to do etc. And I find that perfectly fine. However, if I found out a friend of mine had become my friend as some sort of plan to get me to date the monsieur, I'd be a little creeped out. Honestly, I think honesty is better. I did. I regretted it. Legend says never again. Yeah, same here. By and large I think if there was going to be mutual attraction, it would have manifested earlier. Otherwise, Unless you get a clear sign. It's not worth doing it. Never had a crush. I did. She told me she likes me too. After saying, love you, plenty of times. Her mom saw our conversation. Now we can't tell each other how much we love the other one. We are both girls. Which made it worse. What a shit situation. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.